O3 Mini is here. OpenAI has dropped a new model, y'all. It is in your ChatGPT right now. This is the smaller version of the O3 model that we've been talking about for a while. And surprise, it's here today, in part probably because of DeepSeek. But this is actually pretty impressive. Some of the benchmarks they've shared on this are, are quite surprising to me for a mini model. The biggest thing to know about this is that it is supposedly very good at coding and very good at science. So these are a couple of things that I may not be able to test as easily. But the other thing that's cool about this is they've released a O3 mini high as well. Oh yeah. The high version is where it spends more time and more compute thinking about stuff. This is the competition math benchmark. You can see that O1 preview and O1 benchmark here, and then O1 mini ended up here. In the low, medium, and high models, the high especially of O3 mini beats O1 pretty soundly. Here is the coding one. Even the low version of O3 mini was coming very close to regular O1. It's not O3 yet. It is not the kind of full-blown model where we saw that it had PhD level scores across the board. I'm gonna ask O3 mini high right now to tell me the secrets of the universe and see what happens. Okay, so now you can see that it's reasoning. Okay, so we can look at what it's doing. First, it's weighing the query, navigating ambitious queries, crafting an imaginative response. Okay, we got our answer. So let's see, thought about the secrets of the universe for 41 seconds. So that's something, right? So in general, the expectation, and according to the benchmarks is these are gonna be better answers. So it's out there today, go try it. Let us know what you think.